Hey guys, it's Kyle. I'm out here in the Catskills and I'm going to be going on a backpacking trip for two nights. I'm doing the Overlook Trail and it's about 18 miles. I'm here late and uh, luckily it just stopped thunderstorming so I can get on the trail without getting rained on wet too much. But I'm going to go up some steep hill right away and then uh, only do about four miles until I get to camp and then um, I'll keep you updated from there. <laughs> Foggy. Hear that thunder? It's not raining, but this thunderstorm's still going. I'm almost near the summit, I think. I need to go away soon, so I don't put myself in a dangerous spot. So, update. I'm walking back down the way I came because I didn't want to keep going uphill while it was still thunderstorming. Of course, now it stopped, but if I kept going up that summit and then down the steep slope, I wouldn't get to this shelter that I want to stay at until after dark. So this way I can head back down and then go the uh, other pathway and uh, it's flat from basically the trailhead, only two miles. So should get there before sunset. <laughs> Hey, so I didn't get a lot of footage last night because I got here and it was already getting close to dark. There was some uh, old man that was staying here. We didn't get to talk much. He went right to sleep and I just finally got to cook up some breakfast. I didn't eat till nearly nine o'clock, but it was so good. I made some new dish this time. I actually cooked a meal. It was like a pesto pasta with couscous and some like packaged uh, salmon. It hit the spot. Uh, I woke up this morning at sunrise. He was already out of here. I uh, woke up at like 6.55. Now it's about 8.30 and I'm just taking my time because I'm only going to do about six miles maybe. Uh, I'm going to hike up to uh, this uh, fire tower and then probably come back down to the lake and stay there. Probably get into camp early. We'll see. So behind me here are the Overlook Mountain House Ruins. I don't know when these were abandoned, I'll have to look it up, but this place is huge.
so I just pretty much finished up lunch here. Just got a little bit of trail mix I want to eat before I go. Uh, this view that we just saw was Overlook Mountain. We're at about a little over 3,000 feet. Um, same here with this fire tower. That's what I'm sitting next to still. I'm going to head back down to the lake. Uh, I kind of passed it, but it's kind of on a side trail, so I didn't actually see it yet. And I'll stay there for the rest of the night. Probably get there early. So this is Echo Lake. So I've decided to hike back up from Echo Lake. I'm going to stay at the same shelter I stayed at last night, which will be closer to the car and just make it easier for tomorrow. It's just too early in the day to be sitting here at Echo Lake and there's way too many flies, but going back uphill is killing me. This thing is so steep. I think it's like 800 feet and like 0.7 miles uphill. Hey guys, I'm back at the same shelter I stayed at. It's called Devil's Kitchen, by the way. Um, but it isn't that spooky here. I'm all set up. I already ate dinner. Um, had an interesting dinner this time. I made some ramen noodles and added some peanut butter and beef jerky, and it was actually really good. Surprisingly. I'm just gonna hang out here now. Um, chilling, and it's like 6 o'clock, so, yeah. I've got a Nutella and banana chip wrap for breakfast. So, change of plans again. I decided to hike up the uh, the hill that I failed on, but from the opposite end of, it's kind of like a, a circle. Uh, I'm gonna try to summit Indian Head Mountain. That's the name of it. I don't only add a little bit of mileage, but it is steep going up. It is two miles uphill and 1300 feet elevation gain. This is eye level. eye level and I gotta go straight up all the way up there. This is the steepest I've ever had to go up. So I summited Indian Head Mountain and now I'm heading down.